Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you own, people, welcome to the mental house with me, your host. This is the most maddening story that you could possibly hear, and it is a reason why we have to break down the construct of whiteness and to uh, fight with everything in you to know and that it's a psycho virus and the people that participate in these um, black stereotypes, they need to be fired, they need to be dealt with because they are dangerous to the majority of the population. When you have been inflicted with a psycho virus of racism that you think that all black people are bad and you were the judge, jury, and executioner of these people, then you already know that the psycho virus has gotten you and you haven't educated yourself enough to know who you really are and who we really are. So with that being said, I have to read this article because I, you know, this is so damn crazy. Okay. A white security guard in Ohio is facing criminal charges after he was caught on surveillance video pulling a gun on a black sheriff's deputy in full uniform because he was armed. I'm not joking. It's not a joke. It's for real. A white security guard in Ohio is facing criminal charges after he was caught on surveillance video pulling a gun on a black sheriff's deputy in full uniform because he was armed. Lucas County Sheriff's Deputy Alan Gaston was on duty when he stopped by an IRS office in Toledo on May 31st to ask about a letter that he had received from the IRS. The deputy was dressed in his full sheriff's brigade. He had his uniform on with his badge and his gun clearly visible and his taser when he entered into the office. Gaston said that the security guard, Seth Uckland, told him that he could only enter the office if he put his gun in the car. The deputy said he couldn't do that, seeing that he was still on duty, so he decided to turn around and leave the office. Surveillance video obtained by 13 ABC shows Gaston walking out of the office before the security guard followed him with his gun drawn and pointed at the deputy's back. The guard followed Gaston to the elevator with his gun drawn the whole time. He tried to take Gaston into custody as he went to get into the elevator. Remember, I said a guard, and this guard thinks he got more juice the damn deputy sheriff that just, okay, because I'm quiet and I say so. It's just sick, really sickening. And I know if I'm this frustrated, and, you know, it's like, are you guys serious? Are you really this stupid? Oh, uh, anyway, Gaston who works as a defensive tactic instructor, said he thought the best way to handle the situation was to walk away. I was basically preparing myself to be shot at that moment, bracing for a shot in my back. There's really no way to know how you're going to react when there's a gun pointed at you and when you think you're going to lose your life. I mean, this silly Billy Mr. McGregor, fuck. Actually, it's got the gun pointed in the man's back. Oh. Someone inside the IRS, check this out. Someone inside the IRS office called 911 during the ordeal, and several police officers were caught on a surveillance video arriving to find Gaston and his security guard still standing by the elevator. Check this out, though. The person that dialed 911? <laughs> Could be heard telling the uh, officers he's got a gun and he won't leave. But never once did they mention that the guy was a police officer, a deputy sheriff. Never once did they mention that. They just said he got a gun. So what they're saying is anytime you're black, you got a gun, you black, you don't have a gun, you are a threat to white people. 
Now, this is all they're saying. So you can have the most fastest job. You can be a bum. White supremacy is insanity to the 50th power. This dumb dude. Anyway, the person who called 911 never mentioned that the man with the gun was a uniformed police officer. So they'd be wanting us to get killed. They use they this is in, this is sick. Now Eklund is facing an aggravated missing charge and expected to face court this week. Gaston has also filed a lawsuit against Eklund and the security guard for compensation, saying that he suffered emotional and psychological distress from the incident. The deputy has been on medical leave ever since the ordeal. He should sue the company that he worked for. Did I say that? Because they should be uh, they should be sued for having somebody and hired somebody so damn stupid that don't know where his rank and file is. This is sick. And I'm asking, I'm telling all good people, white people of good conscience, y'all need to talk to y'all relatives and get their stupid asses in check. That's what you need to do. You need to talk to your racist relatives and don't leave it to Black Lives Matter. Y'all know who they are. Because this shit right here, excuse my language, is totally unacceptable. An officer of the law having his gun pulled on him by some knucklebed, knucklehead, probably not even a high school graduate, damn security guard with a gun. About to shoot him in the back. Because he entered the IRS in full regalia. Full regalia he comes into the IRS office. And he is about to get shot by some low light. It looks like a damn nerd. Ugh. Check the story out, y'all, because it's too insane. It's too insane. It's too insane. And you got to check it out. And it's enough. It's got my blood boiling. Because it's ridiculous. And I'm sick of this kind of stupid stuff every day, all day long. White people doing crazy, diabolical things to people because of the color of their skin. Y'all need to grow some backbones, you scary asses. Just crazy. And I mean it. I mean, just out the box crazy. All right, y'all. I'm done. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thank you for being out there. I had to get that one on. Bye-bye.